Storms, been a brutal combination for people who lost power, including residents in South Shore. WDN's Dana Repic is live along the lakefront with more on their struggle. Dana. That's right. The good news is we got an update from ComEd and power has been restored to that building within the last hour. But here's a look at uh, this senior living complex. This is at East 74th and South Exchange. Both that building and an adjacent apartment complex lost electricity last night as these storms rolled through. Residents telling us the apartment building has about 20 units. Uh, they say the power went out around 7 p.m. after a large tree fell on a power line behind these buildings. ComEd was on scene tonight when we got there working to restore the power. Again, we heard it went back on around 8 o'clock. When we arrived, the fire department was also there transporting several senior residents of the Grand Regency of South Shore out of the building and on to cooling buses. The Office of Emergency Management was on hand working with building management and ComEd to handle this situation. We did reach out to the fire department and OEMC to ask how many of those senior residents were affected and if anyone needed any medical treatment, but we have not received an update back yet. Now, a woman we spoke with who lives in that apartment building next door with her kids told us the last 24 hours have been miserable. We tossed and turned all night. They didn't go to bed until like 1 o'clock in the morning because it was terrible. Like, it was hard for them to sleep. They were complaining about how I'm trying to fan them. It, was, it's, it just was really, really bad. That woman said, unfortunately, the day before she had just bought a lot of groceries. All of that food uh, in her refrigerator has spoiled. But a neighbor told her, we actually looked this up, and this is a real thing, that ComEd, uh, you can file a claim and get reimbursed for food like that. So she said she was going to look into that. We also learned tonight in Maywood, the Garden House Apartments, that's another senior uh, living building there. They were without power until 3 p.m. today. Uh, the OEMC is reminding everyone in the city, cooling centers are open, as Tom mentioned, another hot one tomorrow as this excessive heat warning uh, is in effect almost another 24 hours until 8 o'clock tomorrow night. But as far as being here along the lakefront, we were just saying it actually feels after the sun went down, it's actually not bad. There's a breeze and it feels kind of tropical uh, down here. A lot of people out enjoying the, the weather here tonight. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Dana. This